Almost time for kickoff. Bubba Schweigert, North Dakota head football coach, here to join us. The Fighting Hawks coming off a 7-5 and five season, a playoff appearance, uh, certainly positive momentum made last season in the Missouri Valley Football Conference, Bubba, but now it's time to try to take it to the next step. What's it going to take to do that? Well, we got a new team, <laughs> and, uh, you know, we've had a really good fall camp, and I think that helps us. But uh, for us, it goes way back to January. I just think our guys did a great job with Coach Bockel in the winter conditioning and spring ball and summer conditioning and really have been a lot of fun to be around. So what does it take? You got to get off to a good start. And how you do that is have great energy and focus in game one. And then that's got to continue throughout that game. It just can't be for the first quarter. You got to have that for four quarters. And then you got to carry that energy and focus in week after week. You know, you get 11 opportunities to build a resume to hopefully and be fortunate enough to be in the playoff field. And certainly after a season, you're looking at position groups. Where do we need to get a little better? How do we change ourselves a little bit to improve? Was there a position group that you particularly as a head coach was paying closest attention to in fall camp before hitting the regular season? Yeah, I think, you know, we wanted to be better up front on defense and better on defense overall. But we had to, you know, stop the run get more favorable downs for the defense, and then eliminate explosive plays. You know, that's been a focus for us. And, and it's hard these days because offenses are really explosive. You know, you flip it over on the flip side, we want to get explosive plays. And, and for us, though, we know we got to make it tougher on the opponent to score points. And you do that by eliminating explosive plays and having them drive the football. And as a head coach, you always kind of have an idea of a personality of a team. You know, how is this group going to come together? I think you've always had a pretty positive vibe, even since spring ball, about the camaraderie, how tight they are all on, whether it's player one through player 99, whoever it is. What is it about this group that you have a good feeling about? Well, I think they trust each other. And some of this uh, maybe was intentional. Our guys made an agreement that they were going to spend more time together and be around each other more and I think we had to create some of those opportunities but they also had to take ownership in that and when you're around each other more you learn to trust each other and are we doing the right things away from the locker room away from the stadium and and that can change your culture in your program so that was a big focus for us and been doing this a long time been fortunate to be on some really good teams throughout my coaching career and player-led teams seem to have the most trust and get the best results and reach their potential. And I believe this team has done a good job of being player-led up to this point. And it's just exciting just to, to kick it off. I mean, I'm sure your guys are kind of chopping at the bit, especially some of your veterans. They're ready to go, I'm sure, to just hit somebody else and start playing football. Yeah, you get tired of it. It's football, <laughs> going against each other. And I, I'm the head coach. I get to root for both sides. You know, I'm for the offense and the defense. and but those guys are competing against each other and competition within the team is really good and healthy, but it's time to start preparing for another opponent and we're looking forward to game one, no doubt. All right, appreciate the time as always, man. Good luck against Drake and we'll see you down the road. All right, thank you.